Hi, welcome to our new show, Premier League Rundown, where we take a look at some of the opening betting values of the Premier League matches this week. And joining me now to preview the matches and to tell us where the best value lies is Mike Richardson, sports writer and regular contributor to SBR Forum. Welcome to the show, Mike. Hi, Nat. First Premier League match of the week is Chelsea versus Southampton. Chelsea are the clear favourites here at odds of 1.25 with Labrooks. So there's not a lot of betting value straight basing them straight up. So to quote one of your favourite phrases, Mike, where's the money? In this game, there's very little money to be made by betting on the favourites. Chelsea are so far ahead of Southampton and they're playing at home. I can't see anything other than a home win. So the only way you're going to get any money out of this game is to bet hard and heavy on lots of goals and possibly the correct score. So, Mike, I know you're keeping away from the Chelsea-Arsenal match next Sunday, but is there anything the Blues can do in their Wednesday game that can convince you otherwise? I'd say no. Chelsea can um, only gain a little bit more momentum. I think if anything is going to change my opinion of what's going to happen in the London derby at the weekend, it would be Southampton beating Chelsea, taking some of the wind out of those blue sails, but I just can't see it happening. OK, Mike, let's move on to the weekend games. Is there any value betting the Liverpool versus Norwich City game? Well, the bookmakers have got this one down as a home win, but I feel that Norwich are one of those little sides that cause upsets from time to time. They've just had a run of rather bad games and they played out a very dull nil nil draw against Newcastle last weekend. But Liverpool, they just don't look that commanding at the moment. And despite the fact that they're well above Norwich in the league, I think this, good, this game could end up a score draw. OK, interesting on that one. Um, Man City versus Fulham, what do you have set there? I think this is an absolute banker. I can't see any reason to bet against the champions. They're in the race uh, for the title. They can't afford to lose any ground against Manchester United. Fulham, they're safe from relegation, I think, now. They're just far enough away from that dreaded dotted line. So this game is going to be all about Manchester City, and you should bet accordingly. Now, Mike, I know you're personally rooting for the Newcastle United game against Reading. What's, who's the favourite there? I think the favourite has to be Newcastle, but I think that's because Newcastle simply can't afford to lose this game. Um, they're just above the dreaded dotted line. Reading are in good, good shape at the minute. They came back against West Brom, but Newcastle will come good because they have to come good. Right, another interesting game is the Swansea City match against Stoke City. What, what's the prediction on that one? Well, this is a real close game. They're sitting almost neck and neck in the lead table, somewhere around the middle. Swansea are one of the surprise packages in the league this season, and Stoke, um, coming fresh from that 4-0 drubbing against Chelsea last weekend, I think a Swan victory for this one um, is a smart bet. It's a smart bet, is it an easy bet, a safe bet? What do you, what do you take on that? Oh, I don't think there's any such thing as a safe bet when these two sides meet. But I would say that Swansea are going to beat Stoke. Um, Stoke don't travel too well. And Swansea, um, Swansea do a bit of a look at home. Right, OK. Now, the next match is West Ham United versus Queen's Park Rangers. What do you have on that one? It's another London derby. And I usually say that in derbies, form goes out the window. But QPR are a dead team walking. They're almost as good as relegated already. Doesn't matter what Harry brings in or who Harry signs. I think QPR, the best they can hope for in this game, is a draw. And I don't think West Ham will settle for a draw. So I think it's going to be a home victory and maybe 2-0 to the Hammers. OK, and then the next one we move on to is Wigan Athletic versus Sunderland. Is that another, another close call for you? It will be another close call. Sunderland don't travel that well away from home. They've only got two wins on the road this season. But then again, Wigan, Wigan don't play too well at home. They've only got two home victories all season. I'm very tempted to take my lucky 20 pence piece out of my pocket and toss a coin for the winner in this match. OK, and the final game of, these, of Saturday is West Bromwich versus Aston Villa. Is this a good game to bet on? I think this is definitely a good game to bet on. West Brom will be smarting after they lost that game uh, and squandered a 2-0 lead against Reading last weekend. Aston Villa, nothing seems to be going right for them at the minute. Um, the villains are in the drop zone, thanks to Southampton getting something from, uh, thanks to Southampton beating them last weekend. And I do think that West Brom will want to make a bit of a push and get some ground back on Arsenal, um, climb up the table. Yeah, this should be all about the baggies. 
Right, yeah, I think you're right on that one, Mike. And certainly I'll, I'll be back in West Brom. Now, Sunday's games, quite an interesting Sunday we've got for a lineup here. We've got Chelsea versus Arsenal and Tottenham Hotspur versus Manchester United. What's your favourites in this game, these two games? I'd say the Chelsea versus Arsenal, everything points to a home victory for the Blues. And um, Chelsea have the form, they have the league position, they have the momentum. Arsenal, things just aren't going right for them and there's a lot of um, talk of dissent in the ranks. However, if you want to make some big money at this game, and it is a London derby, why not bet on an Arsenal victory? But don't come crying to me if that doesn't happen. OK, Mike, I'll remember that one. And listen, before we end the show, we've got Tottenham Hotspur versus Manchester United. What's your take on that game? I think those lovely people of the FA have left the best to last for this weekend. Tottenham versus Manchester United should be an absolute cracker of a game. Manchester United are the champions-elect. They've got the form. Tottenham, they couldn't even beat QPR uh, last weekend and had to play out a 0-0 draw. However, this is turning into a little bit of a grudge match. Manchester United might be a little bit too comfy at the top of the table with their seven-point league over Manchester City. Um, I think Tottenham are going to fancy their chances in this, but my money, and in fact Mrs Richardson's money, is going on a Man United victory. I think I'm with you on that one as well. Mike, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Dad. For SBR Forum, I'm Natalie Rydstrom.